Welcome to Little Peg Nuts Weekend Update, where we talk about what's been happening in the world of gaming. This week's episode has a super duper console, a game character in need of Q-tips, and more. I'm your host, Lil Packinot. Find me on Twitch, Discord, and of course, you're watching on YouTube. This week, Little Packinot's weekly welcome goes to Agent Suffer. Welcome to Pack Army. Groot takes down Kratos to remain the look-alike champion. Maybe comic book guy from The Simpsons and Mrs. Potato Head can knock that crown off of his head. Vote in the comments, Discord, or on Twitch. When you think of vintage items, you might think of paintings, furniture, or grandma's collection of porcelain figures. Now gaming items are also considered vintage. The only remaining PlayStation prototype developed by Nintendo and Sony in the early 1990s sold for $360,000 at a public auction of vintage video games, known as the Super NES CD-ROM system. It sounds like a Frankenstein of a console with slots for Super Famicom and Super Nintendo, and a disk drive to play Super Disk games. Too bad that the partnership failed. A system that could play any format and title would have solved the which console do I buy problem. Little Packinot Spotlight, shining a light on longtime subscribers. I would like to thank Cyrus RSK. Cyrus is a member of the Elite Pack Soldiers. He is a master discorder, able to create servers, channels, and roles. When Cyrus is not recruiting new soldiers and winning giveaways, he's being an awesome big brother. If only all subs could be like you. In the spirit of Halloween, here are the top 10 scariest horror movie characters of all time. Number 10. Michael Myers, aka The Shape, has remained one of the top terrifying horror villains throughout time. Number 9. Don't let the silly name fool you. Pinhead is a serious horror villain, and when he speaks, you should listen. Number 8. You may think a scary little doll can't make a great horror villain, but Chucky actually contains the soul of a notorious serial killer, Charles Lee Ray. Number 7. During his games, the Jigsaw Killer is known to use a creepy clown puppet on a tricycle named Billy to deliver his messages to his victims. Number 6. Jason from the Friday the 13th franchise is one of the most recognizable horror villains out there. Number 5. Freddy Krueger finds you when you sleep, which means there is no way to escape him. Number 4. Leatherface stands out because he is a large, imposing figure, wears a mask made out of the skin of his victims, and he frequently kills with a chainsaw. Number 3. Pennywise is a terrifying clown masking pure evil underneath. Number 2. Ghostface made the scary characters list because he enjoyed taunting his victim with phone calls prior to attacking them. Number one, there is just something scary about pure evil dressed as an undead looking nun. Before breaking into an apartment, Joey and Matthew decided to put on disguises. That sounds like a good idea if you're planning to break the law. In their case, the pair decided that they would use black permanent marker on their faces. They committed the robbery but were seen by witnesses. The police quickly arrested the C's since their disguises didn't wash off. That's the thing about permanent marker. You know it's permanent. Little Pocketnots Fortnite Season 5 Battle Pass Giveaway Contest ends November 30th. Little Pocketnot is giving away five, yes, five Season 5 Battle Passes. All you need to do to get yours is subscribe and be an active member of PAX Army. That means watch the streams on Twitch, 
join Discord, and check out Little Packinot's YouTube channel. All the links are in the description. Lifeline was a voice-controlled PS2 game destroyed by the same thing that ruined Wiimote lightsabers and Kinect controls. The technology simply wasn't ready yet and screwed things completely up. You were locked in a space hotel's control room and communicating with a cocktail waitress through voice commands on her headset. But either the space contractors used really cheap tech on the space phones or she had a few drinks before finishing her shift because she would be staring straight at a drooling space monster and she'd stand there asking, What? You want me to bun you cupid pitch? Welcome to the graveyard. Get in the hole! Lie down! Stop standing there! Get in your grave! Why are you standing there? Why? You're literally getting your damn grave! Get in your grave! That is all for this edition of Little Paganot's Weekend Update. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, if you're not getting a little salty, then you're not really playing.